how to create colourful images using the apply image filter found in Infinity Photo and the filters menu. Quite a lot of functionality here and you can drag any of these layers onto this panel and use that in the filter. There's also blend modes as well as equation feature as well. Make certain you've got the layer selected over there and that's the layer that I'm going to be modifying but I'm going to use one of these layers. And the layer I'm going to use is a blurred image, exactly the same as this image, but blurred using the Gaussian blur. I just go over there and select that and just drag and you put it on there. Now sometimes what happens is you end up selecting the other layer and then you're not working with what you want. What makes certain you're actually using that layer. Nothing's changed. It's quite odd in that way. However, just go down there to normal and then it does change. Slight problem I think there. It should do it automatically, personally. However, you can run through these things and you've got all the blend modes here. And I'm going to go for, I really like linear light. What you can also do, you've got equations. So you can run through those. So you can just go to equations. Now the functionality is not as good as equations or procedural texture. There's no sine. Maybe there is, but it doesn't seem to work. Sine, cosine, square roots and all those sort of things. But you've got a limited range of things you can do. So you can just go dr equals, and you can also do grayscale, etc. But I'm going to go with RGB. So dr equals sr and you could put maybe minus sg you can also go say sg times sg and then say divide by 12 so you can get a quite a nice little glowing red there but you can also of course go to sb times sb divided by 5 maybe go up here and say you know what instead of sr plus go i can put srg so it makes it very red which maybe isn't what you want, but you can do minus SB. And then maybe you can say, oh, well, let's just go for minus 100. Or maybe plus 100, and so on, so on. You just go through a whole range of different... Unfortunately, I say there's no sort of sign functions and things. That would be really nice. SG there, and maybe divided by 2. And you can see that's a nice orange design there. Or maybe divided by 15 or 13. Just change them. Just play around with... All this, and you can create all kinds. And of course, you can still go back to linear light, vivid light, run through those, color burn, so like that. And once you're happy with it, click apply. You could also repeat it. So you can always go to filters and you can say repeat apply image, which obviously makes it even more intense red. Go again, even more. But you can also go there and you say repeat apply image, and you can then go to layer. And you can go to fade apply image so you can fade it create maybe a slightly uh, retro design there using those settings so you can just tweak this color there click apply but again what you can do you can go to filters and go to apply image and then you can go down to like say blend mode but you have to select one of those again make certain the layer that you're going to be using is selected maybe go for this one which is just a gradient layer that i created earlier so just pixel and just drag and then again go to normal and then, of course, it becomes active once you select that. And you can run through and you can see the gradient applied there. But again, what you can do, you can go down here to the equations, select equations, then go to SR minus SG, and then SG plus SR minus SB. And you can see you can create a whole range of different colourful designs. And again, you go through these if you want. You can maybe go for difference instead or vivid light. Just run through them. And of course, you can always change your mind. You've always got load source from file as well. So you can always click there. And now I can just select one of those and like PNG file or something and click open. And again, you can see the design there. <laughs> Maybe not so effective. But again, if you don't like equations, you can always turn it off. And you've got that design there. And again, you can run through the vivid light, exclusion, overlay, screen, and click apply and of course always again filters repeat apply image and you can apply it a couple of times maybe use fade etc and of course you can always go with you've got obviously these layers here you can always go up to here and then you can go through those and of course the layer below is a blurred layer an overlay something like that so apply image is a really useful filter it doesn't look like it's going to be much use because basically on the surface it looks like it's just using layers and blending them but with the equations, you can really create some very interesting combinations, as well as being able to bring Im images from files. Very useful as well. So, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.